This is an uh, NCP2515 Canvas module board with one side SPI and the other side is the Canvas. It has a jumper here with 120 ohm. Uh, if you if you jump on, it will uh, put the termination 120 ohm resistor on it. This side is the SPI. It has a crystal of eight megahertz. If you are using different uh, different crystal, board, then we need to modify the software to uh, accept that board. Uh, in here, I use the Ulink NT. The one side connect the same as we connect to the SPI flash and these uh, SPI pins with the CS, um, SO, SI, and SCK. Now the power supply on the data sheet says we need three, uh, three, five volts and I do not have five volts from the Unique NT and for the log purpose, I use the 3.3 volt from the Unique NT and it seemed to work for me. Uh, if you find in your case does not work, you might need to use the 5 volt externally. But so far, for the logging uh, uh, ECU from the uh, E39A, it works fine. And on this side, we need to connect the CAN high and the CAN low. And I'm using an Ethernet cable with one pair of twist wire. And the other side is connect to the ECU. This is the ECU project I'm working on, and uh, here the power supply. On the back, we find the CAN bus connector and use the this cable. This is an Ethernet cable. There, there are twisted wires. I use one pair of wires and connect to the CAN high and the CAN low on the back of the ECU. Here is the software, and when I plug it in, we need to have the 1.52 and up, okay? The clock's uh, speed is the canvas speed, which is 500 uh, kilohertz. And there's a record button here. If I click the record, I will, uh, it will ask me to which file I'm log on. And the log file is a text file. So I'm say log uh, data one. And I click save. So after I save, nothing happens because there's uh, no activity on the bus yet. So now I'm going to power on the ECU and you will see the data start coming out. And you will notice the number here increase very, very fast, which means the there are uh, each number is a can packet being recorded. So at the startup of the ECU, there are many, 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 many packets are recorded. So now I can power off and it stopped. Uh, there is no stop button or whatever, so it still continues to, to, to log. If I power on again, it will continue to log, and then I can power off. The only time to stop is I can unplug the USB or power off the, the USB here, and the file is being created called log data one. So here I'm going to open the file. Log data one is being created. So here is the, the text format for the canvas data. Uh, time is recorded. Uh, I think the uh, relative time is more important than the absolute time. So this is recorded at like uh, how, how 11 seconds, 11 seconds after the, you know, I click the record and then I power on. The first packet is sent to the target AA and uh, every, every canvas data has been recorded because there is no filter. You know, I am only listen. So, so this is listens all the canvas data recorded, and you can see many, 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 many packets here. So, when you find some useful information, you might need a post processing to you know 
uh, filter the the endpoint you are interested. Uh, I think it, it's also impossible possible to add some features in the software to filter only the uh, the targets or IDs you, you are interested in. So uh, currently, I'm using the this module as a logger, and later on, I'm going to start using this log, uh, module to send the canvas data to the ECU and start doing more testing with the ECUs. So for anybody working with the ECUs, uh, when they want to analyze or study or modify the, uh, the CAN bus, you can consider the Union CAN and this uh, combo to work with your ECU.